final six. One step away from the finals. My plan was to get Kadia out last round, and it worked. So now I have to pick someone new. I've won a couple challenges in the past. I'm kind of worried people are going to start trying to get me out. Congratulations, final six. You've made it to almost the end of the season. In this game, you will have a station. You can run out, grab points for yourself, or you can choose to grab points against somebody else. A white noodle is worth one point. A red noodle is worth negative two points against somebody else. Printed on the wooden blocks are their point value, and you may only take one thing at a time. Whoever has brought in the most points by the time that everything is gone will be the top of the totem pole. After making a move whenever I did, taking out Micah, and then voting out Kadia, I feel like there might be a target on my back, so I feel like people might start trying to come from me. I had to use my secret advantage, so I need to win this. The strategy for this challenge, grab the red ones, put on everybody else's. Then go back and get the white ones. On your mark, get set, go! We can either go positive for me or negative for someone else. Well, it was starting to come off, so it's either trip and fall or try to hit Nick. I not know that she would come from my head, so I, I, thank goodness, it would be pretty distracting. So we can go deeper into the field to get higher point values if we want, or we could just kind of like hop a couple steps and like take one and then hop back. This is so tiring and it's raining and I'm not happy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, eleven, nine, seven, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen, and then ten. Congratulations, Nick. You are the top of the totem pole. I love Nick and I'm working really well with him, but he's a big player, so it really starts to worry me here towards the end game. Thank you. No, I did not expect to win any of the physical challenges. I was like, ah, uh, base is gonna kill me, <laughs> but it's fine. Or any of the other people are gonna kill me. Hey, you won all the physical challenges. I know, I thought that was insane. I cannot believe I won the physical challenges. Nick, you may head to the top and start placing your totem pole. Mason. Him. Chandler and Allison. I knew this was coming. I was so mad because I literally was so close to winning. I am so upset. Allison, please step forward and select your switch. 
Tim has gotten the switch like a billion times. So <laughs> Tim. Frick, yes, it is Tim. Plus. <laughs> I think I've been this the most. <laughs> Although I've been the Switch a lot, Allison is at the bottom and she's my best friend in this game, so I really needed it this time. Question is, who am I gonna eliminate? I honestly don't know which one to take out. Mason, Chandler. I'm going to switch Allison and Chandler. Okay. our plan all along we wanted him gone he's out of here <laughs> I think Mason posed more of a threat at that point and I would have rather Tim put Mason at the bottom than Chandler Chandler please select your defender <laughs> Mason I picked Mason he served me well in the past I will do it again. Chandler just basically gave me a free ride to the final four. And here is your power. Steal immunity from the top of the totem pole and give it to the player of your choice. I don't know who put that card in the game. The top of the totem pole is supposed to be sacred, but evidently it's not. So whatever. I wanted to rip off this little knob at the top of the stairs. I was like, I was like, Gah! I choose to steal immunity from Nick and give it to Allison. <laughs> give immunity to Allison because I see her as sort of a drifter and those are the kind of people that I want to take to the end with me. I'm safe, didn't really expect that, but like, I needed that. Allison and Mason, congratulations. Because you're both immune from the vote, you'll be moving on to the final four. Nick, Emery, and Tim, one of you will have your time cut short. Head inside, change clothes, and strategize. I'll let you know when it's time to vote. Good luck. Now it's time to get Tim out. So, right. Tim. Yeah. Tim. I think he's the biggest threat right now. Well, the Switch has more power because they can't be saved anymore. Sure, this is like the first time that I'm truly terrified that I'm actually going to get voted out. If I say vote for one person, it doesn't matter if they go home. Huh? Right. I think you should try to get Nick because he's won. Yeah, if like you get three times. Tim's on the line and I can't let him go because if he's gone, I'm the only one left and it's like fend for yourself. So like we gotta switch Emery over. We might be able to get Emery to go for Nick, but the fact that she stayed in there is It'll not have to be like up to good. her. Yeah. So let like let's let them talk and so we can talk to her. We're both voting for Nick. Yeah. They're both voting for me. Emery's <laughs> Emery's the swing vote. I honestly feel like it's gonna be me this round, but I, I've just gotta push, try to get Emery or Nick out. And you could try to talk to them and be like, dude, and just like throw it to Emery or try I mean, to. We can try. But it's still about like. Emery has probably participated the least yeah. out of the people. Which that's probably good to keep around too. In here. But also, there's a point where you have to cut the drifters off, and she mm -hmm. has, for the most part, drifted. We've got to get Emery. She has to vote with us. If not, I'm gone. <laughs> Let's go so, do we want to try to swing them towards Emery or swing her towards? See, we Nick. could try to swing them towards Emery while trying to swing her towards Nick. Emery is the swing vote. We have to convince her. Yeah, if you talk to Emery and I talk to the guys, maybe. Yeah.
So Tim's gonna distract the guys, talk to them about switching to Emory, and I pull Emory aside and I'm like, come on, like you're the you're the swing vote and you have to switch. So I want you to vote with us to get Nick out because Nick is like hardcore, like winning everything. We need to get a strong player out. Pretty sure y'all are voting for me. But if you think about it this way, of the people left, the person that's probably had the least impact on the game is Emery. But like even if they vote you, like if you vote Nick, because Tim and I will vote Nick. Yeah. So he will be out. Tim, Nick. I just don't know. And so like at some point you wanna cut off the drifters because they also haven't made many enemies, so if she finds a way into the finale, she's probably made the least enemies out of anyone up here. Mm -hmm. And so, majority vote will probably go more her way. It's all your decision. Like, you're the swing vote. Because they're gonna vote Tim, and we're gonna vote Nick. So, like, you get to decide, do you want Tim or Nick out? I'm trying so hard to play more of a manipulative game. I'm trying to convince people to be on my side and snake my way through the top. See, I'd rather take a drifter to the finale than somebody who's played a super good game. Because somebody that's played a really good game is going to get a lot of votes. Somebody that drifts, watch well. I hope Mason isn't talking about me when he says the heavy hitters. Yeah, I've won the top of the totem pole three times, but uh, it's going to get sketchy if, if that's what his true strategy is. I feel like I'm really starting to evolve into a more powerful player that they didn't expect in the beginning. It's final six, and I'm here to win. Nick has won way more, and so you don't want him out. It's true. <laughs> oh, yikes. Who are you voting for? I also honestly don't know right now. Uh, you're thinking about voting me. <laughs> I mean, I have two options, so if I All don't right. know, then you're one of them. All but right. I don't know which one. Oh, yikes. <laughs> so... It is time for the elimination. Please come to the living room. It's down to me or Tim. I don't know how it's gonna end. Hopefully it's Tim. I have to get her to vote with us. Like, Tim cannot go. He can't. And it's all up to Emery. I vote to eliminate Nick. I vote to eliminate Tim. I vote to eliminate Nick. It's either you or me, buddy. I vote to eliminate Tim. <sighs> Come on, Emery. I don't know. She's just. She's been kind of back and forth through the whole game. I have no idea what she's going to do. The person who's been eliminated is. Congratulations, Final Four. You've made it this far, which means one thing. There is one challenge left and one twist left. Next time on The Totem Pole. It's been an eventful season, but its conclusion is upon us. Now I'm gonna step back and let you have at it, because I believe some of you have some things to say. And the winner, by a vote of...